The simplest way to explain GTO is to draw parallels between poker and other domains since the principles of game theory apply to many different competitive environments. Imagine a sporting event where two teams compete against each other in a single game. Each team has their own strengths, weaknesses, and strategies aimed at beating the other team. Since most sports are heavily skill-based and don't involve a ton of luck, the best team usually prevails. Now imagine that these same two teams, instead of playing just once, are going to play each other a thousand times. The more games they play, the more each team would gain information about the other team's strategy and adapt their own approach to increase their chances of winning. Eventually, after hundreds of games where strategies have shifted back and forth, the two teams' approaches would reach a state of equilibrium where neither team would have much incentive to radically change their strategy. If they did, they would likely expose a weakness for the other team to exploit. After all, many potential strategies would have been tested and rejected by this point. If these two teams continued battling an infinite number of times, each team would eventually develop their own optimal game plan, one guaranteed to maximize their chances of winning regardless of whatever their opponent might do to counter. Let's pretend the game is rock, paper, scissors. If we're playing against an opponent who always throws rock, then obviously we should always throw paper. However, if we play this opponent a thousand times, do we think they will continue throwing rock after losing the first 10 games? Unlikely. Both players would quickly understand that the optimal strategy is to throw each of the three options exactly one third of the time at random. This strategy guarantees us at least a 50% win rate in the long run and could not possibly be exploited by any counter strategy. In poker, we use technology to explore strategy on a much deeper level and theorize what these equilibrium scenarios look like. We don't have to speculate what might happen if two players played the same hand a million times because solvers can simulate every iteration of that scenario as well as any other you can dream up. Poker is a game where everything can be defined mathematically in a much more clear and convenient fashion than, say, basketball or soccer. GTO, or Game Theory Optimal, refers to a theoretically perfect strategy, one in which we are guaranteed to capture at least our fair share of EV from every hand we play, no matter what our opponents do. It's not necessarily a guide as to how we should try to play, because the reality of poker is that anything resembling an optimal strategy is very complex. Solver technology is a window into what perfect might look like. After all, we can't play enough hands in our lifetime to let experience alone be our teacher.